So guys, recently if you have purchased the Samsung Galaxy M30s, you should watch this video till the end. It is very very valuable for you. Because today I am going to tell you more than 20 plus tips, tricks and hidden features of this same phone and this also applies to some other samsung phones too so hey what's up guys my name is zaheer and this is our hidden features of the samsung galaxy m30s so let's begin this is one of the best feature that i have ever seen in any smartphone there are some new things as well as some old things too but i am sure that you will learn something new in this video so yeah watch this complete video without any skipping so let's begin the first feature would going to be the sound quality and effects as you see over here we have the dolby atmos support if you plug your earphones by the way it has a 3.5 mm headphone jack so yeah if you plug your earphones you have the dolby atmos support over here you have the equalizer and you have adapt sound basically your sound profile will be adapted according to your age you know hearing does degrade by the age so yeah and then we have separate app sound this is one of the best feature that i have ever seen in any smartphone like as you see over here when i turn on this feature i can just specify one application to play in the earphone and another one to play in the bluetooth device or in the phone so basically i can use two audio output with the same phone which is insane to think just so yeah you have to try this out it's very good basically uh, if i can tell you as uh, in a simple manner as you see over here if i wanted to watch a movie i can watch it in the phone and if someone want to listen to a podcast on a bluetooth device i can just over here i can put that music player there as you see over here and run the podcast on that music player and that podcast that music player will basically streaming the podcast into the bluetooth and i can watch the movie directly from the speaker of this uh, phone so yeah very amazing feature after that uh, let's go into you know wallpaper and themes from here you can customize your phone a lot i mean a lot we have a lot of wallpapers we have different different themes over here some of them are free some of them are paid so yeah do dig into it and you will find a lot of things then we have icon packs over here you can basically change your icon packs and we have always on display things like for example this one as you are well aware this smartphone comes with the amoled display so we have the always on display feature as you see over here currently i have kept this uh, create work and inspire always on message so that's great so you can put whatever you want there are some free there are some paid things like i have these many like dream doesn't work until unless you do if i want like clock style or image only i can put it whatever i want like for example yep dream. so yeah these are some of the most amazing customization that this phone offers after that uh let's go in the lock screen and uh, go into clock style from here you can basically uh, change the style of your clock like as you see over here we have this type of clock we can put it like that like this like whatever you want you can put it right over here so that's great and also you can change the always on display clock style basically clock style of the always on display. that's great as you see over here but i want that old one then we have always on display basically schedule always on display you can uh, have tap to show show always and show as schedule but i have set it as schedule from 9 am to 12 am i can see the always on display otherwise it will be turned off to preserve the battery basically we have uh, contact information here basically on the lock screen you can save some information that will be displayed uh, on the lock screen like as you see over here for the reference of this video i have kept this uh, text subscribe to tech buffet yeah that's great actually you should because you will see some amazing videos on it then we have dynamic lock screen you can change the wallpaper yeah these are some of the features then we have normal features like biometric preference and all those things these are very normal things so let's go to the advanced features now we have the uh, smart pop-up view basically a notification pop-up like when i receive a notification if i enable it if i get message i'll get the pop-up right over here so we have screenshot a screenshot toolbar if i enable this and when i take screenshot as you see we got the toolbar over here i can just crop the screenshot or whatever i wanted to do after that guys just enable this reduce animation option very awesome feature actually when i enable it uh, like it is disabled right now so when i open the phone or any application as you see it takes a good second to open because of the animation the animation is very very slow 
and when i just disable it basically enable this feature reduce the animation feature which basically disable the animation it reduces the animation speed so as you saw opening app time is like very negligible right now even after like when i close this from the ram still it takes less time to open then we have the motion and gesture option from here you have lots and lots of option like lift to wake when i enable it if my phone is uh, on the table or something like that when i lift the phone it will wake the display we have double tap to wake option just enable it after that when you double tap on the screen the screen will wake up so that's great we have smart stay keep the screen on while uh, you are looking at it it's kind of a gimmick for me uh, but i don't use it that much we have smart alert uh, that's actually a very nice thing when you enable it uh, when you get some notification and your phone was sitting somewhere and when you pick your phone you will get a small vibration that will let you know that we are, you have some notification you have easy mute when you get call or something like that just flip your phone and it will mute your you know phone as you see over here just cover the proximity sensor and it will mute the call we have one handed mode normal thing like this is a one handed mode uh, you can basically use uh, your phone in one hand very easily then we have finger sensor gesture like as you see over here with the gesture i can just you know get the notification panel down so that's great we have palm swipe to capture like that i can capture the screenshot with this feature we have swipe to call basically a samsung uh, you know best feature a lot of people love it like swipe to receive an uncall and swipe to call someone so that's there you can disable it from here and enable it too and then we have game launcher after enabling this you get this uh, separate sign over here separate thing basically game launcher so yeah that's great and uh, after that we have dual messenger you can use uh, two instances of same application basically two messengers you have panic mode when you press this button three times uh, it will call the emergency number it is off okay as you see it dialed the emergency number then after that we have the digital well-being option in this device guys it's a very very nice thing uh yeah here we have digital well-being basically from here you can see the status uh, your usage of your phone that how much you're using your phone and what is the main usage of your phone if you have any bad habit of overusing your phone then you can constantly see this and get aware of it what is the usage what is your usage then we have device care from here you can uh, do a lot of things like you have battery care option all the battery related thing you have storage you can optimize and clear the storage and see what things are using what and we have memory you have you can clean the memories from basically ram from here you have security option i don't like it so i don't use it you have ultra saving uh, which is not useful for me but if you have uh, less data then you can definitely use that then after that go to accessibility this is very very nice go to the screen reader turn this on it's a very amazing feature uh, let me tell you voice assistant on yep uh, now if i want to like hear something just when i press here voice assistant is on when i tap anywhere screen. it will basically uh, read whatever the text is present at that particular screen for example like this Settings. you know double tap to act tutorial and uh, to activate that particular thing i have to double tap it voice like for example voices. when i de when i want to disable it i have to double tap it not voice assistant off we have visibility enhancement like this is accessibility option you have a lot of option to basically make the phone more accessible to the non accessible people like people do who have any disabilities they can use it we have high contrast theme it will increase the contrast of the phone dark mode and all those things very high contrast themes we have high contrast font as you see the fonts become very contrasty right now remove animation color inversion all those features are present go and dig into it you will find amazing features here we have a hearing enhancement mute all sounds and all those things it's this is these are the feature which are very very amazing actually these are some of the very different type of feature which uh, is not that much useful for the normal people but yeah then we have advanced setting going to the advanced setting we have flash notification some people want to see the flashlight and when they get the incoming call then you can enable it uh, let's go to the display setting and uh, let's explore some things over here too we have adaptive brightness normal auto brightness sensor 
then we have blue light filter very very important guys the screen emits a lot of blue light which hampers the melatonin hormone that is uh, secreted in your brain which is uh, the most uh, responsible hormone to make you sleep yeah i know i am being very very scientific but this is a most correct way to explain you then uh, we have screen mode you can change it to vivid or natural i prefer natural color because vivid is like too saturated for me and then we have night mode we have a complete dark theme over here yes dark theme is present over here as you see in this phone if you want dark theme because this is amoled display after all then we have uh, size you can change the size of the font and all those things if you want to force any application to use the full screen and use the area which notch has uh, then you can basically force any application to use the notch area with that setting and then we have screen timeout home screen and uh, we have navigation bar you have you can change the navigation bar like if you want to use gestures then you can use the gestures like swipe up to go home and all those things like this is a bag and this is a multitasking swipe up gesture but i don't like the gestures that much because yeah i don't know i'm not much into gesture gestures are best in like uh, oneplus devices or you know iphones otherwise the gestures are not that useful in my opinion in any other phone i would like to use the buttons in normal phone and you have touched and sensitivity basically you can enhance the sensitivity of the touch yeah screensaver is normal screen saver self-explanatory things so these are all the settings which i found now let's go to the home and press anywhere then go to the home screen setting from here you can customize your home screen a lot like if you don't want app drawer you can just select the home screen only and it will make the app drawer go away you can change the grid size basically if i want 5 by 5 5 by 6 5 by 4 by 5 and all those things are here and then also in the app drawer too you can change the grid of the app drawer and we have apps button uh, basically we have this button over here with that feature you can enable that apps button and then we have locks home screen layout if you don't want a, any kid or someone to mess up your home screen then you can lock it when you turn this on any new application will go on your home screen when you download it we have swipe down to notification panel if you disable it when you swipe down you will go to the app drawer which is not a good thing in my opinion so that's why i've enabled it yeah this one so with that said as you see i've got the notification panel and then after that uh, we have the rotate landscape you can rotate the home screen as you see i can rotate the home screen that's great and we have the hide app so from here i can hide any application that i want like for example let's hide amazon so now amazon is hidden as you see if i search for amazon let's see i will find the amazon app so what's the point here I don't think so. There's any point to hiding any application. Basically, it won't show here. But if you know the name, then you can directly search it. So yeah, these are all the features that I found in this video. I know I haven't covered a lot of things. I know you guys uh, have a lot more amazing feature in your arsenal. And guys, if you want to share them, please feel free to share them in the comment section below. It will be very, very helpful for people who are watching this video. So yeah, guys, that's all about the tips, tricks and hidden features of this Samsung Galaxy M30s. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, then hit that like button, share this video with your friends who are looking to buy this smartphone or any other smartphone in this price category. And especially if you know that someone has bought this smartphone or Samsung Galaxy M20, M20s, whichever device which has one UI. You can share this video with them it will be very very helpful for them and for me as well and by the way guys if you love my content you can subscribe to this channel with that bell notification icon so you'll be notified when i post new videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video guys bye